And United have scored! What am I doing? It's Matic! Oh, I was on my bloody phone. That's my own fault. And United are 1-0 in front. Matic with a thunderbolt. What a prat! Why? This is what happens when, when, you're Manchester, when you're watching United. You don't expect them to score a goal. And we have. It's Nemanja Matic. Cross comes in from Fred. Headed out. And Matic, lovely, lovely finish by him. No VAR on that. Cross comes out. Headed away. And he just strikes it first. Ooh, it's a bullet. It's an absolute bullet. He's got jet fuel in his feet. It's a left foot and it's a wand of a left foot. And there's no keeper saving that. And it's in off the post. And the smash and grab is on. And Ricky is running on the pitch naked. He's there hugging Matic. They've cut to, cut to the ads. Cut to the ads. It's 1-0. And we are all a little bit stunned. We're all a little bit stunned. But we're all a little bit happy. Manchester United totally against the runner play. Um, but they all count. And United... PSG 2. PSG 2. Could be happening here. We could be on the end of it. We only need one more. That's Lingard's fault. It's offside. It's offside. Ooh, I tell you what. Lingard's very, very lucky because that would have been on him. But City carved us open and Sterling was offside. Comes to De Bruyne. Yeah, he's off. Two of them are offside. Lucky. Lucky. Good holding of the line by the United back four there because Lingard would have been at fault there. You cannot play somebody at number 10 who's got a touch like that. He's got to come off. We're gonna, that, that should have been game over there. That should have been game over because he can't play a little five-yard pass to Fred. Ridiculous. How many chances are you going to get? You, Ollie, stop bloody picking him. Don't shout at anybody. I don't know who he's shouting at there. He's just told someone to F off. Good, Ollie. I hope it's bloody Jesse Lingard. Get him off the bloody pitch. Oh, Matic is going to get a yellow, yellow card. He's going to be off. Matic, red card. Idiot. He didn't need to do it. Matic. Does that mean Matic is out of the game at the weekend? Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Forget that. It's not 3-2. It's 4-2. No, it's offside. No, it's offside. The second one. Yeah, shove that up your ass. Thought you'd got a meme out of me. Not so easy, is it? Not so easy. Another offside goal for Man City. Yeah, and he's offside. He is offside. Oh, what? Out of all the free people to take the free kick, I didn't... Fred, why is Fred on the free kick? Why is Fred taking that bloody free kick? What the hell? Bloody hell. Why the hell is Fred taking that free kick? Every night in my dreams, I touch you, I hold you. That is why I know we go on. I'm going to do a, a, a... This is Jesse Lingard when he hear, hears that Bruno Fernandes has signed. What's the matter? I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my job. Oh. Every night in my dreams, I touch you, I hold you. That is why I know we go on. I think my, my big disappointment with today is that it's just never felt like we were going to do it. It's been a feeble effort. I think it's been a damage limitation, don't lose, don't don't concede many goals. And it's almost been a scam 1-0, hasn't it? It's not really been a... It's not a... Well, it is deserved because we've won it, but um, I don't know what there is to be happy about that from United. It's trailer trash football. It's crap. Really, really poor, and I just hope that we're going to improve with Bruno Fernandes because that was awful. 7.6 million people follow Manchester City on Twitter. Like, who? I wouldn't even thought 600,000 does. Who follows them? I don't like this formation. I don't like it. I don't like Jesse Lingard. Um, hopefully we won't see him ever again after tonight. But again, Lingard getting yet another chance. I mean, how many more chances is he going to get? He scored against Tranmere. Whoopie shit. I've got to be honest. I hope Bruno gets us playing more exciting football because it is a little bit like watching Stoke, isn't it? It's not exciting. It's just soak up pressure to have these little bursts of possession 
and try and score a goal. There's no momentum, there's no excitement on the ball because that's all we ever do. Soak up pressure and try and hit teams with quick, quick, quick. I think Mourinho would probably just be, yeah, keep it tight, keep it nice and tight. I like it tight. No lube, keep it tight. Um, don't know what, why Mourinho's Italian and a sex addict, but uh, he would be like, keep it tight, no lube. We keep it tight, we 3 1 up. But I think Pep is like, oh no, let's go loose. Let's go loose. Let's lose some lube. Let's win 3 or 4 nil. And he's uh, he sounds like he's Mexican as well. Ban Vignac for that. That's the worst comment I've seen. And I've seen people call me a nonce. But you've just said that Bruno Fernandes is like Deli Alley. Get out. Wash your mouth out with soap and get to bed and, and, and not have any tea. Rubbish. Crap statement. Get out. You bloody... You're, you're a football peasant. The first time I've seen Ollie's face in a few days, and I've got to say, luckiest manager in the world, isn't he? Luckiest manager in the world. Should already be sacked, has now got another signing in that's going to give him more time because we're all absolutely ecstatic that Bruno's coming in, which means, by default, Ollie gets more time when really he should have already been sacked. We're nearly at 500 feet now as, as Bruno comes into Manchester. I bet he's so excited. He can't wait to see me. I know. He's coming round tonight. We're going to have... Uh, Gonna have a bottle of uh, baby sham and uh, beans on toast, and just stay up all night watching porn. Um, 